Let's see what we got here. We found a leak on the boat. It's in a guest room and uh, we think AC system is a culprit. Looks dry. We turned everything off. We turned the breaker off and um, sponged the bilges out um, and letting it dry. So it's been two days and it seems to be um, staying dry. So turning off the AC is working, but um, it's not the solution for the problem, of course. So we'll have to um, we'll have to investigate further um, where it's leaking from. We took the drawer out. So the water collects under the drawer on the bottom of the bed frame. This whole thing was uh, filled with water and you can see over here there's something salty crystals. So yeah we don't accept guests right now unfortunately. It's been a fourth day. I've been monitoring the issue and that seems to be staying dry. And it's been pouring today, cats and dogs. So it's not coming from the outside. It's not the rain. Here's the screen. Oh, that looks nice. So that's what's in your tray on the bottom. That's the screen to protect the coils. Because mm. the air gets pulled through here, right? This is the fan. So the intake is here. Mm -hmm. The fan pulls air over the coils. The coils are cold. And then it goes cold air into the duct. This is the first outlet and then the duct goes down and forward. Mm -hmm. This is the compressor for the refrigerant. The refrigerant lines come through and this is the evaporator. You see the refrigerant lines run through here. Okay. This is the evaporator. So the cold refrigerant goes through here. The air goes over the cold refrigerant lines and the air becomes cold. <laughs> like I understand what he's talking about. Yeah. This is probably the discharge for the refrigerant. So it probably goes in somewhere else. Where's the, the bottom? This is the heat exchanger for the raw water. Once the refrigerant warms up here, you have to cool it back down again. So you, you use the seawater as a coolant this is the evaporator, this is the condenser. You cool it back down and then you compress it. So, we gotta clean the tray out as best we can. We gotta check the, t the drain hose to make sure that's flowing freely and clean. And then we gotta find the leak. Hopefully, it's just one of these connections. This one is, let's see, they're both double clamped. This clamp is loose, though. This hose is loose. So, if I had to bet, I'd say it's leaking from this hose right here. Plus, you see how corroded it is? That's probably from the seawater leaking out the, the outside of the pipe. Oh, wow. See how green that is? So yeah. if I had to guess, this is leaking seawater. Mm. This one's nice and tight. I can't move this. And it's nice and clean. So we'll see if we can fix our AC system, our AC leak on that we found last week. So I think you can, oof. Like you can stick the vacuum right here. See? Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's a space. 
Yeah, so this is dried. At least you can start over there. It's like a powder. Yeah. But it's dried on. So I think it's better from this mm. side than from the top. So Drop this off. is this is where I am right now. You want to get all the green out. Green. Oh. Not the copper, but the, the algae How sediment. We, yeah. How are we going to be able to do that? I'm not sure where I put that. Straw cleaner? Yeah. Yeah. See, Katya, this is why I save <laughs> the old kitchen tools and things. Oi, oi, oi. We are uh, poor savers. You know, look at that. Saving all kind of crap. There it is. Now I might want the mirror. And here. we get to use mirror. it now. AC on before we start this project? <laughs> yes, sir. Vacuum. Oh, seriously, woman? You're in charge of the vacuum. And you gotta tell me these things. Get I me gotta go pad. back. You want a cushion? Um, I'll get a cushion. Thank you. <laughs> Did I pull the water out? Well, if there was a clog, there'd be water stuck in the wall. I thought I heard, I heard um, the water moving. So, we're gonna put it back up again now. Oh, I think I see it. Yeah? Yeah. Finally. Can you move a little bit? I think I see the tip of it. You see the end of the snake? I see the end of the snake. Is there a clog between the snake and the tray? No. No, then we're done. This is much better to sit and get on the back. <laughs> because now I can actually just lean in. This is much better. Um, I need you to look in the sump. Okay. And tell me... I'm gonna pour water in and I want to check how well it drains. Okay. Yeah, I see the bubbles. It should be coming through the top. No, I see it from the bottom. If it's leaking from here, this is not completely inside the pan. Oh, it's like over the. It's like over, half and half. Over the pan, yeah. So it may not be a drain problem it may have just been leaking outside the pan partially too but that's a lot that's a that's a lot of drip though well it was split, running for like three days to split in between the yeah well tray. there wasn't there wasn't a whole lot of water coming not here out here in there here. was a lot in the bilge in the bilge which suggests it was dripping down i think most of it was dripping down here but yeah there were like i pulled like five balls of water out of the bilge probably a gallon a bowl Five, six gallons. Five, six gallons. It's the most I've ever put taken out. Yeah. You see it? There it is. There. Oh, wow. See it? Oh, that's a lot. Yep. Alright. Oh, it's a So there's the 
there's a leak. Alright, so now I need the sockets on the floor. The small set of sockets. You're learning, you're gonna learn all sorts of things today. I want to make sure the pipe is reasonably clean. So you could come in here with some sandpaper if you wanted to. You're assisting. Ooh. Oh, you like that? <laughs> you didn't know about that, did you? That's why I'm in here and you're up there. This, this, getting the front is going to be challenging now. Turn it back on. We confirmed the leak. Yeah, so I knew it was better. And now we've retightened it. We knew it was loose to begin with, and now it is tight. I don't know why it was loose. Yeah. Either it wasn't tightened from the factory or, I mean, I've, I've never known hose clamps to loosen like that. If you have a leak, you do what we did, you close the valve. Yeah. So even if, if, if any of these hose clamps or hoses burst, whenever you have water in the bilge, first thing you do is you, it, it's probably a leak in one of the through hulls. Right. It's probably a hose or a fitting somewhere and Closing the through hole valve will stop the leak. That's generally your first first course of action. Climb for climate. For climate. It's, it's uh, French. It's all French. It's French. It's climb for climate or climatique, otherwise known as air conditioning. Showing, showing off some French over yes. here. So Michael went to buy AC strainers because they got holes in them and uh, yeah we can't use them anymore. They get really really nasty. You have to change them quite often. Um, I think we changed um, one of the strainers like a couple months ago. But if you try to unthread them you end up twisting the hose. On the other side this was a I, this has a captive nut on the other side, so I could disconnect this and spin the whole hose around. But mm -hmm. on this side, I can't do that. I'm just gonna keep twisting and twisting the hose and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna get stuck. Let's see if we can just slip the hose off. These hoses are surprisingly easy to get on and off. Actually, I don't need to take the hose off completely. I just need to have it rotate. That's good enough. Too bad you can't record the smell. <laughs> Nobody's figured out how to do that yet. Yeah. No, it's not bad. Part of the reason I 
didn't want to change these out was because they've got this solidified pipe dope. Yeah. Although this one actually might be taped. Look at that. This one, let's find out. Yeah. Hopefully we can put it back together. Uh, I put the other one back together. I have tape and dope. But they used dope, so I used dope. To replace it. <laughs> you look like a frog. Yeah. Your frog position. Yeah, this is yoga. Frog. Position Q. <laughs> Q. What is this reposed frog? <laughs> yeah, no, not thread. That's that's whatever group they they put on there. Some sort of curing sealant. Cleans off pretty easy though. Ta -da. So, made in Italy. Ooh. I know that. Oh, this is a different one. This is, this actually is a different strainer than the other side, different housing. Oof. The other one is TT. This one is ARAG, A-R-A-G, but still no part numbers. Maybe they don't have part numbers in Europe. It all comes in uh, names. They're both made in Italy. I can't even find the company, the is TT it T company. Is it T or, uh, That's one inch. This oh. one says it's for gas service, which is odd because it's a polypropylene <laughs> housing. I've never seen polypro for gas service, but all right. So flow direction. This side rotates. So we're going to do this side second. We're going to do that side first. We fit upright over here. We got lots of clearance. That's good. Here's our plastic safe pipe dope. Oh, it's blue. It is blue. Safe for portable water. Supposedly. Not entirely sure how much you're supposed to use, but more the better. <laughs> I can't hurt. <laughs> you saw how much they had on there to begin with. There we go. Make sure you're not cross threaded. This one starts to rotate. Yeah, it looks like that one started. I don't, this is part of the valve, and I'm not entirely sure what that does. And it kind of makes me a little nervous that it rotates. All right, can you hold that? This? Yeah. It's, you gotta push this way. That way? Yeah, to hold against me. Mm -hmm. There we go. Alright. Now the hard part. Getting this one started. Oh. And lined up correctly. I had a hard time lining up the other side. 
This one seems to be going in nicer though. There we go, goes right in. This is why the panel gets hot here when you step. Yeah. So that's why the floor gets warm. Nice and dry. That's what we want. Yep. Sounded weird, I thought. So that is no flow. That's the no flow alarm. You've got to get some water in the system. Well, I guess it turns off, right? Yeah. By itself. There you go. This can be challenging. Got bigger problem than the thought. You have to put water in the copper side, which is not practical. Oh. Yeah, oh. Oh, indeed. This is just going to the... Discharge? Through hull discharge. <laughs> which is why it's not... I'm, fill, I'm putting all this cups in here, and I'm like, gee, this is taking an awful lot of water. Oh. Where is it all going? You know, it, it's oh my going God. in the ocean. Pouring oh our fresh water overboard. I, I can't deal with you. <laughs> Is this the right one this time? <laughs> Could be. Should be. Could be. Well, there's only two. We are back in business. Yay. AC is on. Yeah. So last time I cleaned the AC strainers, one of them had some missing parts so the screen was starting to deteriorate yeah the screen was which led me down the path of i need to buy a new screen well the housings for the strainers have no useful markings they're one inch made in italy oh, Poly polypropylene useful markings for online purchasing <laughs> but there is no model number no manufacturer no strainer part number or I finally bought just a whole new housing and strainer yeah. from Tractor Supply. The reason they sell these strainers is because they're agricultural strainers for spraying. Oh, for yeah, spraying they're... fertilizers in right. different feeds and pesticides. They're agricultural sprayers. That's why they have them. Yeah. That's why they have all this piping. Otherwise... Oh, I don't know where you'd buy this. Yeah. Home Depot doesn't carry this type of stuff. Lowe's, hard, hardware stores. What about um, West Marine? <laughs> West Marine. The world of uh, marine supply. West Marine would have, so if you went to a marine store, you may have to go to the bronze strainers to get the big enough blind sides. I also, I also came across the marine strainers in my internet searches, and yeah, you can get a Grocco bronze strainer that would serve our purpose, but it's like $300. Oof. Dollar bill. Yeah. As, as much as I despise plastic in my, my shore time life, plastic is a wonderful material for marine use. So we put the new strainer in the side that wasn't working that had the perforated strainer that we haven't used for the past month then i went to go clean yes i got that one all put together no leaks can't turn it on because the breaker is off and it's raining outside i don't want to open the engine hatch <laughs> so i went to go clean the other strainer for the um starboard side ac and lo and behold that one now has pieces missing so I don't, know, I don't know what kind of strainers these are, but in the course of a month, they both failed. So the water comes in? 
it goes through the screen. Through the screen. Yeah, it's forced through the screen. So there's so pressure. So that's a water pressure. There's water pressure on the strainer. Yes. Hmm. Uh, so the repair was putting in was getting the holy screens or screens with larger holes replaced with screens with smaller holes. <laughs> uh, but now that we have new housings from Tractor Supply, I know what parts they are. And I ordered a new screen from Amazon. Oh, we, we skipped the part where it's pouring rain today and I had to run out to Tractor Supply to buy a second oh, no, strainer. No, no, I mentioned that. But co co concurrent with that process, I went online to make sure I could find part numbers for these screens because now I have two new strainers, US made, and I found one on Amazon that I ordered and we'll see if it fits and if it does, we'll order a bunch more because apparently we need to keep spares. Do you want to be in the video? She wants to be in the video. Three times. Good kitten. She's really hungry. <laughs> this is how you get subscribers. <laughs> Cat videos. I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah. That's enough. <laughs> oh, oh. Yep. she goes for more. Okay, where's my food? Oh, yeah. Ah. 